Adrian Valente reporting for ESCplus.com. I'm here next to Elina Etzaeva. You all know her. She represented Estonia back in the Eurovision Song Contest last year in Lisbon with the song La Forza. And she's going to be performing tonight here in Saku Surhal for the final and handing over the trophy to the winner uh, of Estelao 2019 in, in, in Estonia. So how do you feel being here? Hello, uh, everybody. I Lina. feel fantastic and I feel... Uh, uh, it's, it's unbelievable that somebody today will begin the same journey that I began one year ago. This crazy year, it, it has been really amazing. What memories do you keep from the time uh, last year, uh, this time, specifically this time? Uh, I remember a lot of work, a lot of work, uh, long, long days uh, filled with wonderful music. And uh, of course, Eurovision, it was... Uh, the peak of the year and after that came so many interesting projects uh, in Estonia and abroad uh, with uh, marvelous musicians and conductors for example our most famous conductor in Estonia Neme Yarvi we gave a concert uh, in Shanghai okay. uh, I think it was my biggest performance uh, outside of Europe and uh, now um, there are going to be so many interesting projects in the future too. For example, it's here in a few days I will have um, a concert with Placido Domingo, who is a oh. super superstar in opera world. Yep. He is the most famous opera singer, so yep. I'm really excited about that. And Huge. yeah, there will be a lot of interesting things Huge. in the future. Huge! <laughs> so that's uh, we're pretty happy to listen to you telling that you have this great of. Uh, career ahead and everything. I'm really happy to hear that, Elina. Oh, thank uh, you. Regarding the music, tell us a bit more if you are in studio, have you been planning to release any you know, further songs or what have you? What are your plans about um, at the moment? We just wrote the new song and uh, today is going to be performed here on AC Lal 2019 and um, on Monday it will be on Spotify and iTunes and you can listen for this amazing piece I really love it and uh, I really put a lot of my heart and soul into the lyrics that I wrote with my friend Ksenia uh, they're really really meaningful and poetic and uh, we have plans to release a um, few songs soon mm -hmm. so in the end we we want to release the whole CD full of wonderful songs. Looking forward <laughs> to that because I heard that Eurovision fans and not only Eurovision fans but Estonian fans are really really into into your music into you since you participated and, and went to Eurovision. How much have you feel uh, the positive face, the feedback and from the fans from the media here in Estonia uh, from the industry how is the overall uh, feedback that you have received throughout the whole year since Eurovision or still all the Today. feedback have been amazing and I'm so thankful to all my fans and uh, all my relatives and family who have uh, been so supportive uh, uh, live in real life and in social media. I'm really thankful. Uh, that's the power and motivation that keeps me going. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I, everybody's everybody are waiting for the new songs and uh, cheering me up like hey where are the new Forza? <laughs> mm -hmm. so yeah and it's and uh, a lot of of, of course um, a lot of uh, interest in my life and uh, that's that's also an interesting part of participating in Esti Laul and Eurovision <laughs> for example um, in uh, summer when I was uh, running uh, in the morning in the forest without any makeup and after that I thought oh, I will go to the shower and you know <laughs> and there were fans who were running behind me and, and wanted to take selfies I was like no <laughs> 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 so it made me run even faster <laughs> yeah no sometimes it can be this tricky thing that you've got yeah. like a lot of exposure media exposures yeah. and a lot of people behind you that whatever you go whatever you find a lot of people, yeah. you know, but that's something good in, in the end, yeah, actually. Yeah, yeah, I really enjoy that. <laughs> people still show that uh, they love you, so yeah. it's it's definitely <laughs> fine. <laughs> yes. uh, talking about um, Neta and the winner of Eurovision last year, you came sixth. You, it was a top ten placing for Estonia, which is something that uh, was not uh, achieved during the past few years. How did you... Uh, uh, got that into you? Did you think it was worth it? Did you expect it more? Um, how would you re react to your uh, 
staging uh, and the position in Eurovision? I I am really positive about the, that, and I think uh, to uh, get in the first ten in Eurovision with such a song, which is not really Eurovision mm, style, mm, 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 mm. I'm really happy about that, and I'm I really appreciate that people noticed uh, my music and. Uh, gave their votes to mm -hmm. me so i'm really thankful nowadays uh, if you go to see the performance and watch the performance on youtube is it something that you say that you will change from that time yes of course uh, i have developed a lot i have worked hard and now i think oh okay the first uh, chorus should be sung with piano and not with such a force and later it will go to forte so yeah a lot of details that i would change <laughs> okay i don't know if you've heard about it but this year australia is sending something yeah. similar <laughs> i um, have heard <laughs> the song is called zero gravity um i don't know if you listen to it or not but what do you how do you react to like australia sending something similar to what you did last year uh, that is I, a concept. I think that it is amazing that people uh, get inspiration uh, from my song yeah, or my act you. and i'm really happy about that and i think love force address uh, this is La Force Address New Generation and I'm really excited what will bring the next year. <laughs> Maybe this, the, the, the dress will fly or I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Would, would you like to do it yourself? Would you be back to Estilao? Let's see, let's see. Well, who knows? Um, who knows? Who Life knows? brings you surprises yes. when you don't expect. So, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I want to also to ask you what happened because fans might be curious about this. Something happened in your Twitter account. Oh Two yeah. Time ago, what happened with this? I, I think it was something, buddy, from uh, from Spain or something like. I, I don't remember well. What happened in your Twitter? What's this thing going on? Uh, it was very interesting thing actually. Uh, somebody made a Twitter account and Twitter gave it uh, with my name and Twitter gave it the official the verified. Uh, yeah the verification like verification, but it wasn't me. Oh. It wasn't me. Yeah, and I tried to connect with the person. Uh, many many times uh, asked to remove the account or somehow to get in touch with me but the person didn't react and the Twitter also didn't react and uh, I wrote uh, them many many times send them uh, like passport uh, picture and my face like this is me please delete this but they didn't react uh, many months and then I went to police because in Estonia it's um, it's not allowed to it's impersonation yeah, and yeah, it uh, it's not allowed in Estonia. Uh, so yeah, police uh, then started investigation, and finally they removed the account. That's something that Twitter have been checking. Yeah. You better so watch out, Twitter. Yeah. Elena Taiba is here. <laughs> you know. <if laughs> But you, you know, it, it was a, an awful feeling actually because I felt really powerless. I couldn't do anything, and the person who uh, who created this account didn't uh, say anything. Yeah, he, they could uh, they could write anything, and our media also uh, like picked it up and said, "Oh my God, Elena is going crazy or whatever." We, we were actually the Eurovision fan community and all the media and the Eurovision media. We all went like uh, thinking, uh, "What what is the problem? What happened with the Twitter?" And maybe uh, yeah. there were a lot of more artists that went through similar situations like from Sweden, from yeah. Albania, from a lot of singers that go, I don't know, yeah. they, they got stolen their accounts or something. So but th know. this was a little bit different the story. It is, it is definitely, it's a bit scary actually, someone to um, really like go into your feet and, and try to be yourself and I don't know, but at least I'm happy that it got the Yeah, salt. and finally, yeah, so finally Twitter unblocked my real account because mm -hmm. they blocked it after I contacted okay. with them, which was even more crazy. But yeah, now it's everything is fine. <laughs> okay, Elena, it was really nice talking to you. Thank uh, you. We really enjoyed your rehearsal uh, a few moments ago. I hope it's going to be the same for tonight. Thank you, you have a so stunning much. voice. Uh, Eurovision fans, ESC Plus, love you so much. Thank um, you, you're I so sweet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you too. <laughs> I will ask you to send a message to the viewers on ESCplus.com. Uh, yeah, you have your camera there, yes. the micro feel free to do dear fans thank you so much for your support i'm really really thankful and grateful to you and i really love you all and hope to see you one day more